Hi everyone, my name is Miles Gibbons with Roland Canada. I'm here with my friends at Long McQuaid and I'm very excited to show you the brand new SPD SX Pro. Let's take a listen. The SPDSX Pro is packed with over 1,500 sounds. You'll find pristinely recorded acoustic instruments, classic electronic drum sounds, big hits that you hear in modern day music production. You've also got tons of sound effects, tons of percussion instruments, and tons of layered elements. All of these sounds are highly customizable. They're all rich, lush, and detailed thanks to the SPDSX Pro's 48 kilohertz 16-bit sound engine. In addition to the 1,500 stock sounds, the SPDSX Pro also has over 30 gigabytes of internal memory. So you can pack this thing full of one-shot sounds, loops, tracks, clicks, and not run out of space for all of your gigs. The SPDSX Pro can accommodate WAV, MP3, or AIFF files between 44.1 and 48 kilohertz and 16 to 32 bits. Those files are automatically converted to the SPDSX Pro's internal format when you import them. But before you import anything, you've got 1,500 sounds to choose from organized into 44 stock kits with 200 kits in total available to you. Let's take a listen to some of those stock kits right now. Let's start by taking a look at kit number four, Grime, which features a more contemporary sound. We've got some one-shot sounds and some loops. So that's kit number four, Grime. Let's take a listen to kit number 10. It's called Acoustic Drums because it sounds like acoustic drums. So if you are playing a more traditional style of music, but you're packed into the dark corner of some tiny venue, you don't have enough room to play a full drum kit, but you need some authentic sounds in a small space, you can look at kit number 10. Now, let's take a look at kit number 27. This is called Melodic Style, and is a great way to show you how the SPDSX Pro gives you the ability to accompany yourself when you're playing the drum kit. One of the really cool things about hybrid instruments like the SPDSX Pro is that it allows you to think outside of the box and play as if you are not just a drummer. So, combined with the traditional acoustic or electronic kit, the SPDSX Pro gives you new creative horizons, and it's a lot of fun to sort of get into this type of headspace. For me, it's a lot of fun to play as if I'm not just a drummer. Let's take a listen to kit number 41. This is called Wat Taiko and features Japanese taiko drums. Luckily, the SPDSX Pro is a lot easier to fit in your car and bring to your gig than a set of taiko drums.
so you can take the SPD6 Pro out of a box, throw it on a stand, and you're ready for just about any music the world might throw at you. Let's take a deep dive into some of the SPD6 Pro's more interesting features. There are a multitude of ways that you can customize and implement the sounds either in the SPD6 Pro or that you've imported into it. Let's talk really quickly about editing sounds. It's very simple, very quick. So I'll hit menu, I hit pad edit, and now I'm in my instrument editing suite. I can choose a layer type, I can change the volume or the pitch of a sound, I can change the EQ, I can adjust the transient, I can have the sample fade in or fade out at different points. So I have a lot of control over how the sample plays and the tonality of the sample. And it's all really easy to get to and really easy to adjust. So for example, if I have a snare sound, and I want to beat that snare sound up, I might enter the EQ section, find a low mid frequency, let's try maybe 315. I'm going to change the Q or how narrow the frequency band is, so I'm going to make that a little bit narrower, and then I'm going to boost that frequency, let's say 6 dB and see what happens. So I've got a little bit more beef in the bottom end of the snare, and then maybe I want to open the high end up by increasing some high end, so I'm going to select maybe 1.6 kilohertz. I'm going to narrow the band of EQ a little bit again, and I'm going to boost up that high end a little bit just to give me more air, more high end presence. So it's very easy to quickly adjust the tonality of a sound. Another feature that's brand new in the SPDSX Pro is the transient designer. If you're not familiar with what a transient is, it is the initial impact of a sound that is either recorded or played. So we can adjust how much attack and how long the attack of a particular sample is, which is really useful for cutting through a mix. So I might take a kick drum sound like this, and if I want to cut through a dense mix a little bit more, I might increase the amount of attack on the transient. So there's more punch and more attack in that kick drum. So it's really easy even if you don't want to completely change a sound, to sculpt it to your liking. So it's very easy to customize the tonality of the sounds that you're using. A really cool feature that I love that's been expanded greatly in the SPDSX Pro is layering. Layering is not a new concept in Roland drum modules, but the way layering works in the SPDSX Pro has been vastly expanded. So conceptually, Layering is all about using multiple sounds assigned to one pad, but the way those sounds interact and the way you trigger them changes, which is a lot of fun. The simplest layering mode is called Mix. You can have two sounds assigned to one pad that always play in unison, like a hand clap and a tambourine sound. So both sounds are still velocity sensitive, but they always play in unison. Another really cool mode is called fade mode. There are two different fade modes, and with both of them, the second sample will start to play after a certain velocity. So for example, if you want just snare drum for ghost notes, but hand clap on backbeats, you can do that with fade mode and playing different velocities. So even though the SPDSX Pro features nine onboard pads and is very expandable, you can really get the most out of all your pads and inputs using layering in this manner. Another really cool layering mode is called Switch, where you change from one sound to another at a specified velocity. So here is Switch mode using a shaker and some finger snaps. So again, it's all about packing a lot of versatility into a very small space. A brand new layering mode is called X-Fade, which means crossfade. In this layering mode, the second sound begins after a certain velocity and then takes over at some point. And it's really cool to try this not just with drum sounds, percussive sounds, but melodic sounds or other sounds as well. So if you want to go deep down into Blade Runner theatrical soundtrack mode, you can do some really interesting things with crossfade layering. Another brand new layering type is called alternate, 
one pad will alternate between the two sounds assigned to it with each stroke, which is really cool for freeing your hands up to be able to do more while you're playing. So on this pad, I have a kick and a snare that will alternate. So it's really fun to use layering to break down the door between your imagination and what's actually possible to play. Another really cool brand new feature in the SPDSX Pro is the step sequencer. Any pad in your kit can be assigned as the step sequencer and the sequence can contain up to 16 steps. So consecutive strokes on that pad will play different samples of your choosing. This is really cool if you're playing just the SPDSX Pro by itself. It lets you play more intricate patterns with more variation, more ebb and flow, and more nuance. So here's an example of that. So I have a whole bunch of these sort of synthesized mallet sounds layered with uh, a shaker that changes pitch as the sampled melodic sounds change pitch as well. So if I'm using the SPDSX Pro in a hybrid setup, like with a traditional acoustic or electronic drum set, this does a similar thing. It allows me to get busy playing the kit with three limbs while I can play something more intricate than I would normally be able to with the other limb on the SPDSX Pro. So that's a ton of fun to play around with and again just sort of gives you new creative horizons if you need to recreate something from an artist record that you are playing live or you've just got this great idea in your head and you don't know how to accomplish it the SPD Sex Pro gives you new ways to, to solve those problems. Another aspect of the SPDSX Pro that's really awesome and has been expanded greatly is how it works with effects. Each kit in the SPDSX Pro has four multi-effects and you also have a master effect that applies to the master channel or the entire kit. So you can have up to five effects assigned to one kit, which is a lot of fun because again, it gives you just more options for diverse sounds and versatile sounds. So I could take something like, you know, a generic 808 sound. It's a great sound on its own. Right? It's a great sound, it's a classic sound, we all know and love it, but by applying some effects, we can get some really interesting results. So here's the same kit, the same samples, the same sounds, but with some distortion, some filter, and some delay applied. So this is a lot of fun. It adds nuance and diversity to your sounds live, which is a lot of fun to play around with. Another great new feature with the SPDSX Pro is how it handles looping. Looping was available on the old SPDSX, but the way you can have all of your loops interact with each other and the way they interact with the click on the SPDSX Pro has been greatly expanded. So I've got four individual loops on this kit. And some one-shot sounds. So the idea is that I can trigger any of those sounds and I'm using mute grouping which is the idea of having one pad cancel out the previous sound before which is really handy if you're using looping live if you're using different loops for different sections of the song you don't want any crossover that's unintended so mute grouping avoids that. Another really great expanded feature of the SPDSX Pro is how it handles pad linking. Instead of just being able to link two pads in a kit, you can link as many pads as you'd like. So if you want to fire multiple loops simultaneously, it's really easy to do.
So again, I've got loops that are connected, triggering simultaneously, and I have loops that are canceling other loops out. And that makes sure that, again, I don't have any crossover of unintended sounds. And the last thing I'm using there is just a single one-shot sound to silence everything. It's always very handy to have an all sound off button, which you can either program or assign to one of these pads, or you've got an all sound off button on the module itself. So hand in hand with the SPDSX's expanded looping capabilities is its expanded click section. The SPDSX Pro gives you many ways of triggering or deactivating the click. It gives you a lot of options for how the click sounds, the meter, the time signature, all of these things. So you can use pre-recorded internal click sounds, you can use any WAV file that is in the module or that you've imported as a click, or you can even import full WAV files as click tracks that might have tempo changes, meter changes, or even cues in them. So that's really handy. The way I have the click working with these loops is that each loop I hit will also trigger the click. Now, if my timing isn't perfect, and I don't land my next loop perfectly on the beat, I have the click set to restart right on that first hit so that my loop and my click will always be in sync. So if I'm not using pre-recorded backing tracks, I have a lot of fill safes built in and it's very easy to implement loops into your live show. Speaking of backing tracks, the SPDSX Pro is an all-in-one backing tracks machine. A lot of artists and bands are using pre-recorded material to bolster the sound of their live show. And that might be for budgetary reasons, for space reasons, or even just for creative reasons. Sometimes there are elements in the record that you just can't recreate with human beings. The SPDSX Pro allows you to import your own backing track files, either a full file of the entire song or even individual parts like just bass, just keyboard parts, just vocals and you can have those play simultaneously, as well as either the internal click that I mentioned or a click track that you've imported. So all of these things fire in unison. We're gonna talk a little bit more about sound writing later, but you can route the click just to your headphones or just to the rest of the band, and then whatever actual musical elements to front of house that you desire. So here's an example of using tracks. I've got a custom made backing track that I've created with a custom made click track that I can fire with one hit and play along too. energy from the big, 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 big bang. So whether I want complete control over every single sound that I'm playing, I want to use some loops so I have free hands to play other things, or I want to let the SPDSX Pro take care of all of the auxiliary sounds without me even touching it throughout the song, I have a lot of options for, again, either recreating something in my imagination or recreating something for an artist that I'm playing for. So those are just some of the awesome features packed into the SPDSX Pro. So now you've had a chance to hear some of the sounds in the SPDSX Pro and you have a good idea of the amazing things it's capable of. Let's talk about the module itself. The SPDSX Pro is compact. It's about the same size as the SPDSX before it, even with all these new features and more controls. It's very easy to chuck this in a car, carry it on the subway, or stow it in the overhead compartment of a plane. It's also very easy to position within or around your drum kit. Let's talk about the controls. We've got a master volume to send to front of house. 
We've got a headphone volume for ourselves, and we have a dedicated click volume knob so we can control our headphone mix on the fly. If we don't have the click assigned to one of our pads, we can also start it and stop it with this button here. We've got a master effect knob that controls the intensity or the amount of whatever master effect we have assigned to the kit, and we can activate and deactivate that with the on and off switch beneath it. We also have two knobs here that are labeled pad edit that are very versatile. I've got a select button, so it's very easy to hit a pad, adjust the volume, turn it down, change the pitch very quickly, very easily. So your most important editing functions are instantly available to you. If I hit the select button again, I can affect the transient attack and the transient release. That's how much attack there is and how long the attack lasts for for the transient. So again, if I need to quickly sculpt a sound to suit a different mix or a different room or a different PA, it's very easy to get at those features and change them quickly on the fly. If I hit the select button one more time and illuminate both labels, now these edit knobs can be assigned to my MultiFX 1 and my MultiFX 2 or various other parameters in the SPDSX Pro. So just with a couple touches of a button, you can control six different parameters with these knobs on the fly. So a really awesome new feature with the SPDSX Pro is the 4.3 inch LCD screen in full color. So it's very easy to see whatever you need to see on the screen on a dark stage or in a difficult environment, and it's very easy to navigate because you've got more real estate and full color. If I bring us into a menu, I've got a lot of menus to choose from. I'm not going to go deep into all of those, but there are a ton of features uh, between editing your kit and your sounds, editing the click, getting into your MIDI and USB settings, getting into your output settings. Everything's very easy to find and navigate. Underneath the screen, we have six function buttons that make navigating and moving through menus a breeze. It's very efficient navigating these menus and finding the settings that you need. As mentioned before, we've got an all sound off button if you go into panic mode on stage. We've got a pad check preview button that allows us to hear the sounds assigned to a pad before we play them. This doesn't go to front of house, so if you're in the middle of the gig and you forget where your hand clap is, you can find it with this pad check button. We've got a shift button that changes the function of some of the other buttons. We can return to our main kit screen very easily, and we've got a lot of navigation features packed into the right side of the module. So it's very easy to find and adjust features and settings within the SPDSX Pro. There are also some really interesting things that I never thought I'd want in a drum module, like a screensaver, and the ability to change the color of all of these LEDs around the pads. So I can customize what color each LED is. So if I want to use one color to denote a loop, a different color to denote a one shot, it's very easy to navigate the pads and make sure that I'm triggering the correct sound on stage, even if it's hard to see or in a, in a low visibility situation. Speaking of pads, the entire striking surface of the SPDSX Pro has been redesigned for absolute minimum crosstalk. Pads 1, 2, 3, the top shoulder pads, have also been redesigned. They trigger better at shallower angles and are more responsive and more sensitive to dynamic playing. All of the pads are responsive, they feel great, the rebound is awesome, they give you a lot of room to play with different dynamics, and they respond to all of your drum techniques like single strokes, double strokes, flams, buzz strokes. These pads are responsive and accurate. On the back panel of the SPDSX Pro, we have a ton of expandability. We've got a balanced stereo master output, a stereo headphone output, and we have four balanced direct outputs. So between those direct outputs and the master output, we have up to six channels of discrete and separate audio that we can send to a mixing board or audio interface for isolation and mix control later. We also have four trigger inputs. These are dual zone inputs. We can either attach four dual zone triggers, which you can assign two sounds to, or eight single zone triggers. So we've got nine onboard pads and the ability to add up to eight more striking surfaces with those trigger inputs. We've also got traditional MIDI in and outputs for connecting with other sequencers, other drum machines, or any other external MIDI gear you might use. We have 
a USB input for a USB stick, which we can use to load new sounds onto the SPDSX Pro. We can use that to save backup. So if we need to carry all our settings with us or if we need to change our settings, we always have a backup that we can rely on. There's also a USB input and output to your computer. The USB capability of the SPDSX Pro has been vastly expanded. We can send eight channels of audio to the computer and receive 12 channels of audio from the computer through a single USB connection. So if we want to use the SPDSX Pro as part of our live computer rig, either to play internal samples, computer samples, to be the audio interface for your backing tracks and click from the computer if you choose to use that, you've got a lot of options for how to send those sounds to and from the computer. All of the incoming and outgoing sounds in the SPDSX Pro are routable. So we can choose how these sounds are moving through our six discrete outputs. We can send kick samples separately, snares separately, uh, backing tracks as a stereo pair separately, click separately for the band to listen to, and then auxiliary sounds on their own output. So we have a lot of control ourselves if we want to mix things in the SPDSX Pro or we give the front of house engineer or the recording engineer a lot of control over those individual sounds. In addition to that, we've got a foot switch input. We can attach a dual foot switch to the SPDSX Pro. We can use that to activate or deactivate the click, move through kits, um, turn effects on and off. There are a whole bunch of parameters that you can control with the foot switch. So finally, we have a quarter inch stereo audio input. We have three reasons we can use this. One is for the SP in SPD SX Pro. SP stands for sampling pad. We can connect another instrument or external audio device to the stereo audio input and capture audio from it, save it into the SPDSX Pro, edit it, and play it back later from the pad. We can also use the input to receive a monitor feed. So if you're playing a gig where you need to receive a monitor feed of other musical elements other than the drums, we can receive that right through the SPDSX Pro. We don't need to bring an additional headphone mixer or any other gear. That's really convenient. Lastly, if the band's running short on channels or you're, you are using multiple drum modules together, you can route audio from another instrument or device through the SPDSX Pro using that input. All incoming and outgoing audio is completely routable. You can assign any audio from the pad or moving through the pad to any of the master or direct outputs in any configuration you like. So you have a lot of flexibility for receiving audio and sending audio. So that's the SPDSX Pro. It's packed full of awesome sounds, great features, and is extremely connectable. And it packs all of this power into a very compact and convenient space. If you're the casual drummer playing for fun, maybe doing the odd gig, maybe starting your first band, the SPDSX Pro is a fun and easy way to really broaden your musical palette. If you're the working drummer that's out there hustling and needs to make the most out of a minimal amount of gear, the SPDSX Pro is flexible, versatile, gives you a lot of options for bolstering the sound of your band and will help add value to yourself as a musician. If you're a touring pro, this pad is an absolute must have. You need to be able to play the exact sounds your artist or musical director are expecting. You need to be able to connect and interface quickly with live performance computer rigs or other digital music gear. You absolutely need an instrument that is reliable, responsive, and roadworthy. The SPDSX Pro is all of these things. So wherever you're at in your drumming career, we have a sample pad for you. We have the SPD-1 series, the SPD-SX, which will still be available, and the brand new SPD-SX Pro. So if you need to bring auxiliary sounds, click tracks, loops, backing tracks to your gig, we have a bunch of great options for you. Thanks so much for taking the time to check out the SPDSX Pro with me and Long McQuaid. For more information about this instrument, please visit www.longmcquaid.com or click the links in the description below. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. You'll get all kinds of awesome updates about new and exciting gear. Thanks so much. Have a good one.